。以下节目是由东华医院特约播映。各位觀眾，歡迎收睇《商界中環》，我係 Mina 李色平。喺呢一節嘅《商界中環》咧，我哋將會同大家介紹一下呢個東華醫院嘅歷史。咁我相信華人社區咧，就好多人咧都聽過下呢個東華醫院，但可能好多人咧就唔係好清楚東華醫院其實佢有好長好長嘅歷史。咁今日咧，我哋就好榮幸咁邀請到華人保健計劃嘅首席行政長 Larry Lu 嚟到節目當中。Hi Larry。Hi， 你好。Hi, welcome to the Chinese Chinese Hospital. So I would like to ask you about what is the history of Chinese Hospital? How did it start? Well, well, the history of Chinese Hospital is actually a very long one, and it's very important to not just our Chinese community, but also San Francisco. Uh, so it started back in the early 1800s when there were a lot of Chinese, but they didn't have access to sort of more modern Western medicine. They had access to traditional Chinese medicine, but it had a very difficult time getting access to more modern medicine because of discrimination. Mm -hmm. um, so the community uh, raised funds and created what's called the Donghua Dispensary, um, and that was built in 1899. Um, that was uh, built by community uh, organizations and also some Western f trained physicians. Uh, so that was put in on Sacramento Street. Um, I think the location is where uh, now where Chinese playground is, right about there. Uh, and that served to uh, the community until about 1906. And in 1906, obviously, the whole place burned down. Oh, that was the, the San Francisco earthquake. Right, the, yeah. the great mm -hmm. 06 earthquake. Mm -hmm. And so once that burned down, uh, the community actually faced a really difficult time uh, in its, career, in its uh, existence there. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of people that wanted to run the Chinese out of Chinatown at the time. So very quickly, the, the community got together, rebuilt the entire place. Uh, and more importantly, they also bought, built the Donghua Dispensary now on Trenton Alley, uh, which is you know, just north of uh, 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 Washington Street and where uh, Stockton Street is. Mm -hmm. uh, so the community continued to grow. The Donghua Dispensary thrived. Um, and more updated medicine and technology was created in the you know, early you know, teens. And that's where the community started to think about what they needed to do to provide for more care for the community. So uh, at that point in time, there was still a lot of discrimination. And it was also still very difficult for the community, the people in the community, to get access to you know, places like San Francisco General Hospital. So even though they paid for taxes, they had a tough time being seen by doctors there. Mm -hmm. So the community got together, there were about 15 community organizations. They got together and uh, f uh, founded the Chinese Hospital Association. So they raised money. They started in 1923, and by 1925, uh, they actually opened up the hospital to serve the community. Mm -hmm. So it was not. No, oh, sorry. 正如呢，即系个正如呢，就头先阿 Larry 所讲，咁咧就呢个东华医院咧，就系其实咧就真系历史好悠久，就系一八九九年咧就已经成立咗呢个叫做东华诊所。咁佢嘅英文名咧就系诶由呢个东华 dispensary 诶改咗做诶。Uh, Chinese hospital， 但係咧就如果中文名嚟講咧，就係、是、東華診所改咗做東華醫院。咁其實咧就佢一八九九年嗰陣時，因為當其時咧就誒即係呢個美國社會咧就對華人好歧視啦。咁咧就誒、呃、華人咧就好多時咧就冇得睇醫生嘅。咁誒、呃、所以點解咧就佢哋成立咗呢個東華診所？咁咧就等好多啲唐人咧就可以嚟到呢個東華診所咧就睇醫生。咁喺誒一九零六年嘅三藩市大地震當中咧，誒就呢個東華誒。診所咧就係完全係摧毀咗嘅。咁誒後屘咧就即係嗰個社區咧又再集資啦。咁因為當其時連嗰啲咩聯合醫院啊，即係嗰啲咧都唔收任何唐人嘅病人。咁啊，所以佢哋集資喺一九二五年咧就開咗正式開啟咗呢個東華醫院。So I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh no, that's that's perfect. So yeah, so um giving birth to the uh it was 1925. Could you tell us about uh you know what what happened you know at 1925? So the community got together to raise money for the this new hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind that uh, you know the technology in terms of uh, healthcare really improved. I mean, I think if you think about it, you know they, they started uh, having, uh, for example, penicillin, or or hospitals became places where people were healed, uh, not just where they go and you know for the end of life. And so the community needed the community grew, 
and the uh, you know the the community leaders uh, thought that it was important that there was a place for for uh, the community to actually have access to that care, so and places for healing, and so the 1925 building um, was you know pretty modest relative to to you know, current current terms, but it was it served the community for quite some time, uh, where people were you know uh, uh, you know living there and. Uh, yeah, and being served there. So yeah, 咁正如阿 Larry 所講咧，就誒一九二五年咧，就呢個東華診所咧，就正式咧就改名咧，就成為咗東華醫院。咁佢唔單止咧就係一個診所啦，就係一個醫院，就等大家咧就可以接受更加多嘅醫學方面嘅治療。Um, so talking about the Chinese hospital, I think it was renovated several times. Um, so in 1979, it was renovated again. Why? Sure. Sure. So the that that 1925. Building continued to exist until 1979. Uh, it continued to serve the community uh, until that period in time. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, why we needed to create the new 1979 hospital back then. Uh, that was the new hospital uh, is because the whole standards about what you put into hospitals, how much room you have to have, how much staff, and that sort of thing, uh, really changed uh, the requirements. And quite frankly. Uh, the 1923 building, I'm sorry, the 1925 building almost had to get shut down. Uh, mm -hmm. So they created the 1979 building uh, to replace that, and then uh, that has been uh, continuously open since then. 咁啊喺一九七九年咧，其實東華醫院咧就已經翻修過一次噶啦。當然咧，就今年四月咧，就新嘅東華醫院咧就會誕生。咁一九七九年點解會翻身咧？就 Larry 咧就話，因為根據當時政府嘅條例，咁啊譬如話走廊通道又有幾闊啊，咁同埋當然有啲儀器啊，同埋有幾多個病床啊，呢啲咧就同一九二五年咧就嗰個年代咧就係爭好遠。咁當然你翻身咗之後咧，就成個醫院咧就當然更加。可以更加好咁嘅樣服務呢個社區，咁而佢原本一九二五年嗰個醫院大樓咧，就當其時咧就愛咗嚟做呢個 office 嘅。So now, um, so what I understand, so both the office and the hospital got uh torn down, and then in April you're gonna have the brand new Chinese hospital, right? Not not, not entirely quite right. Uh, so the 1925 building in in 2012, uh, Chinese hospital started a capital campaign to raise funds for. This new hospital. Uh, so, in the history of the 1925 building, the 1979 building, and now what is it going to be? The 2016 building. Uh, the community really raised money for the 1925 building and 75, 79 building. So, um, we actually in, in 2012 we actually uh, deconstructed the 1925 building, and so out of that is the is the new building that's going to be uh, you know, we'll be celebrating the grand opening in 2016. Meanwhile, right next door to it, the 1979 building continued to serve uh, the patients and become, you know, was continued to be operational. Oh, so the 1925 is the building that's torn down. Correct. <laughs> yes. Oh, 咁原來咧就係一九二五年嗰個誒本身嗰個舊嗰個東華醫院個大樓咧就係重建嘅。咁一九七九年嗰個咧就繼續喺度繼續服務呢個社區嘅。咁我哋咧就誒今日多謝大家收睇呢個商界中環。下一節再見。<音樂>